So this is Rick again with BadMoonRising.com showing you a reversible rain poncho, multi-cam hammock, and a hammock bug net. Now you can see if for summer camping this is extremely comfortable. You're off the ground, you don't have to worry about rocks and sticks. It's fairly concealed with the camouflage of the pattern of multi-cam. Protect it from the rain and the mosquitoes and other flying prey. Hammock moves a long zipper so you can get out. And instead of using parachute cord or other kind of cordage, use a few sticks to suspend the poncho over me. And just so you can see how compact this system is, I'm going to disassemble everything. Just use some deadfall sticks on the webbing loops on the poncho. Just keep it separated, spread open a little bit so the rain washes away from me instead of on me. Simply tied with suspended with parachute cord over the hammock system. Simple quick release knots. The parachute cord to suspend it over the hammock. And so I don't lose them. The poncho comes with its own stuff sack that can be attached to your belt, web gear, backpack. In case you, in case you haven't noticed, it is a little rainy out here today, so the poncho is a little bit damp. But does its job. This particular model also happens to be reversible to white. So if you wanted one poncho for year-round use, this would be the one you'd want if you live in the northern part of the country. Stuff sack for the reversible poncho is a little oversized, so it doesn't have to be rolled up real compact. Slides right in, and there's also room for other items if you needed. I keep the extra parachute cord in there for suspending it or for improvising shelters inside with, with the poncho. Uh, one thing I'd like to note about you know, bug netting, if you have a favorite hammock that's, you know, various me there's various mesh, mesh ones, heavy nylon ones on the market, this will work over just about any non-canopy hammock, just plain sleeping hammocks. It's about eight and a half feet long total is what a 77 inch zipper. Parachute cord drawstring on the ends for sealing it up around the hammock suspension system. After cinching it up, I just take the extra and tie it around to make sure critters can't fly or crawl in it. See, this is a stuff sack that comes. If you want the multicam version stuff sack that comes with the mosquito netting. It's a little tricky to untie the first one to top. Quick release knot comes right off. Now you can see the mosquito netting slides right off so the hammock's all by itself. And like 
like the poncho stuff sack. The mosquito netting one is oversized, so it doesn't have to be rolled up real neat. Just pull it right inside. And the hammock for convenience comes with a little pad, stuff sack that also has webbing and ladder lock buckle fit on your backpack or your belt or vest web gear everything stuffed right inside the attached belt pouch now the hammock's approximately eight and a half feet long and uh, one inch webbing for attaching to trees or other anchor points 10 feet long so you can, you can see it's pretty good distance between these two trees. So it gives you a few options for setting it up. And since I am with the oversized bug netting pouch, it makes things a little easier. You can actually store the hammock in the side. Now you got one thing to attach to your pack or belt. One other thing I'd like to note, we also make these in other colors, so if you don't want to look militant out in the woods or you want something kind of loud as far as colors, we offer blue, green, orange, white, purple, tan, I think an olive drab, and a few other colors. So if you have other options, if you want, don't want to look like a commando camping all the time, if you have any questions, you can email us from the contact us link at badmoonrising.com badmoonrising with a z.com thank you for watching